Hi, I'm Dan Hughes, Sales Manager for ClickSend Europe. In this video, we're going to do a quick five minute overview of the platform. So first things first, this is the dashboard. It's a web-based interface. We also have apps available on iPhone or Android. Down the left-hand side is my main route of navigation with all of the different ClickSend product suites. And in the top right corner is more around the billing and the settings. So first things first, I'm going to head into the contact section on the left-hand side and upload my first contact list. I'm going to call this list test. Click on add to create the list. At present, that list has got zero contacts within it. So I need to click on the blue person and either add the contacts manually, sync the contacts with different CRMs, or import contacts using an Excel or a CSV type file. I'm going to click to upload, locate my file, and then click on open. Once I've found the file, ClickSend is going to scan that and give me the green light. I can click to import contacts. And from here, it wants to marry the data. So it's detected phone within the Excel spreadsheet, and I want that to link up to phone within ClickSend. First name to first name. And for now, that's enough for me, but obviously you can map a lot more data. Click on confirm. And from here, it's going to import my contact list. Click on OK. From here, you can see that I've got duplicates. I've got two Marys and two Johns. So in the top right corner here, I can click on clean up and remove duplicates. It's asking what I want to base that duplicate on. This instance is going to be the phone number, as that's the unique identifier, and remove. And this is going to tidy that list up. Great. I now know I've got three contacts within my list. I can click on SMS on the left-hand side, and we've got two main options here. Quick SMS, which is a message to a single individual, uh, or an SMS campaign, which is where maybe you're sending a marketing message to the masses. I'm going to use an SMS campaign in this instance. I'm going to start a new campaign off. Name the campaign whatever I want. So this is just going to be called test. Select which list it's going to. It's going to my test recipient list. And from here, I can select where the message comes from, whether it's a business name, or a phone number. Different countries have got different restrictions, so it's best to check. I'm going to click on Next here for now, and I can start typing my message. So I can go, Hi. I can use a placeholder to map certain details, such as first name, and that's going to pull through from that contact list. You can see in the top right corner, it's pulled through Hi, Dan. Um, take a look at our website. Now, rather than copying and pasting in a long, ugly URL, I can actually use a ClickSend's URL shortener. So I'm just going to grab that one and you paste it within the short URL and add. Now what you'll see is it's changed that URL to something much smaller with lots of X's after it. Each person is going to get a different set of characters, which will still link them to the same website, but it allows us to look at some analytics behind it. As this is a marketing message, I need to use an unsubscribe link. We've got a little document here, which explains a little bit more around that. And again, I can see then on the right-hand side what the message will look like. I can see I've used approximately 79 characters, one text per person, and I can either send that now or schedule it for a later point in time. Once I've sent that campaign out, I'm going to look back at a previous one. Now I click on SMS campaign on the left-hand side, and you'll see I sent one a little while ago. I'm going to click on this one. What this does is this gives me a breakdown of that text campaign that I sent out. You can see I only sent it to one person, but it was opened by one person based in the UK, using Google Chrome, on a mobile device, which was Android, and scrolling down further, it even tells you who that individual was. We can change it, whether or not the link was clicked, so I can select that to be no, and anybody that received the text but didn't click on that link would then be listed here, and anybody that did would show here. Now I've changed that to yes. We can export that data, re-import it, and manipulate it to maybe send out another campaign. Great stuff. And from here, if somebody replies, where do we go? So clicking on the left-hand side under SMS and then into the messenger section will allow us to engage with customers directly rather than sending back out to the masses. So you can see here, for example, I've got myself as a contact. I sent out a campaign, reply from the phone itself, and I can reply back once again from within the platform. Simply by clicking on this little box down the bottom here, I can type in any message, click send, and away we go. The other option is to click on SMS on the left-hand side and click on the history section. This will give us a breakdown over a specific time period, or I can search messages to a specific number. That wraps up the SMS side of things. We're now going to move on to MMS. So MMS is picture messaging. It's a much richer type of uh, text message where we can include a picture or a brochure uh, to our customers. 
Once again, I've either got quick MMS, so again, sending to an individual, or an MMS campaign where I'm sending back out to the masses. So I'm gonna click on MMS campaign. Click to start my campaign. I'm gonna call this one test once again. Select which recipient list it's going to. This time it's gonna to go to Dan. Where's it coming from? We've got two main options here, shared number or dedicated number. So I'm gonna click on shared. You can see where replies go by clicking on this little button up the very top here. Moving on, I can click on next, and then I can upload my file. So I'm gonna to click to upload, locate the file that I've prepared earlier. And you can see it's uploading it, says it's uploaded 100%, and it's gonna simply show me a preview of the picture, not only here, but also the message preview on the right-hand side. You can see accepted file specifications by clicking on the little link just here. So subject is gonna be text, and my message I can begin to type in. So once again, I can go hi, use my placeholders, first name, and begin typing the message out. And again, it all reflects on this right-hand side. Much like SMS, we need to allow the ability for users to unsubscribe. So either reply stop, unsubscribe, click on next, send it now, or schedule it for a certain date and time. Other parts of the click send suite include voice notifications. This is where you can trigger uh, calls out to your customers or alerts out to your staff. Uh, should they be needed? Email marketing, transactional emails such as receipts. We also offer fax and post as well. So post, we've got a couple of other videos on, especially around things like mail merge, where you can have a, a staple letter, which has got custom field tags within it that we then merge data from the contact list to be able to send your letters out. In the top right corner here, I can click and we can look at the account settings. So account settings is where we can add extra colleagues or extra users to the platform. So I can simply click add sub account, type in the credentials of my colleague, and I can choose what permissions I give them. So for example, I don't want Alex to be able to modify users. So I can turn that feature off for Alex, add him as an as a extra sub account, or I can click turn off billing because I don't want Regis to be able to look at the billing, for example. And the final section we're gonna look at in this video is just the balance at the very top. So clicking on balance, this then takes me to an overview of our balance and, and billing page. What I can see up the top here is currently it's set to sending to the United Kingdom. That's a free field text box. So I can click on that, type in a different country and it will update the pricing accordingly. And you can see here, if I top up 10 pounds, I'd currently get a rate of 3.23 uh, pence per text message, which equates to 309 messages. If I topped up, say, £100, that rate comes down all the way down to £3,000 and an even cheaper rate. We can also configure the platform by clicking on General and Balance Management. And I can tell the platform to automatically top up my account when my balance goes below a certain amount. I can toggle that one on. When my balance goes below, below 10p, top it up with £10. Or simply send me an email slash a text message when my balance goes below this much. So that's a high level overview of the ClickSend platform. I hope it's been useful. Uh, key things to note is that ClickSend is going to allow you to automate campaigns. We can send out to over 170 countries. We've got 24 seven support and we use direct routes, which means that the message delivery is going to be really high across your customer base. Thanks for your time. ClickSend is business communications solved.